crypto pterodactyl when I micro and macro my mind. Why would I try to hide the fact that I'm Jack to be actually naturally high? All right, guys. Ian Anderson and Ben Baker from Central Coast Disc Golf. Ben, we got some more uh, NorCal Series Championship Round Two, Part Two, kicking off the uh, the back nine holes here. Yes, sir. Uh, lots more to come. Uh, another great signature hole on the way in a few holes. Cool. Sounds Thanks. good. Buddy. Yeah. Let's watch some disc golf. You. All right, Ben. We're kicking off Part Two on Hole Ten. Uh, looks like Nico's throwing a giant hyzer, possibly also a flex up the middle lane. Uh, yeah. So for Nico golfers sure there's a big hyzer line for most golfers there is a s-turn line up the middle okay see so, yeah. you pros like their hyzers that they can get away with it so yeah, sure can't blame nico for trying the wind is starting to pick up at this point yeah <laughs> kind of see it on the water we saw that on david's roll you we saw it on david's roll yeah a couple holes back oh wasn't that awesome that, that thank was... you to the redditor who made that <laughs> yeah solid giffing sir yep. is it jiffing or giffing i would say gif but I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure someone will have an opinion. Yeah. Uh, Nico on the box, lining up that big old hyzer. Uh, the basket's just past the crest of that hill straight ahead. Yeah. Nico, I believe he's throwing a destroyer here. There it is. It's a big throw. Wow. He's a little bit short, but looks like he's got a nice clean look. Yeah, that'll work for e easy par at least. Yep. He said he's just happy he's not in the water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Set higher goals, Nico. Come on. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Here's Lance up next. Looks like he's going to go up the middle. He has a, a normal person arm. Yeah. Yeah. Makes the rest of us feel like this is the way the course can be played. Yeah, exactly. Uh, hangs but a tree and it sits down eventually. Yeah, so Nico didn't have to worry about that tree, but most players do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony O'Malley, friend of the program, awesome human being. Yeah, looking to go up and over that thing. Oh. Or maybe around. That's going to give him way too far right. That Did it? Okay. Wants. Yeah, didn't, looks like it fought back at the very end there. Yeah, I don't think he was going in the water, but... Yeah. Connor's looking at the Nico route. He does have a big boy arm. Yep. yep. Dang, look at that thing. Yeah, it puts it up there. And uh, Do you know where he finishes? Uh, Wait for it. <laughs> I still don't know if I saw it come down. No, but I don't think it did. It would have been hard to see. Yeah. It's a sky color disc. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is Nico trying to say this is an arrowhead? Hate your break. Uh, I don't know. I think he was just saying it would make a good weapon. <laughs> just Nico. <laughs> just Nico thinks. Yep. I love it. Always having fun out there. Yeah, he's great, man. Uh, Lance looking at his second shot. Probably about uh, 80 short. I'm sure there are some comments that would say, wait a second, I've seen Nico not having fun out there. Fair <laughs> enough. Everybody has their moments, but... <laughs> Most of the time he's having a long At least he's entertaining, regardless. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I believe that was Connor pitching out right there? I think so, yeah. And here's Anthony. Oh, yeah. Nice flick. Yeah, a little little right on the drive, but recovers nicely. Should make it for a par. And uh, Nico looking for a two. He's got this line. The tree, you see the branches behind the basket. So he it does have a oh, clean okay. look. Oh, gotcha. That is deceiving. Not to mention a pretty background. Mm-hmm. Oh. oh, sat down though. Looked like it, yeah. Yeah, that's good. That would have been. Yeah, nice. Get on out to Lake Amador, guys. Yeah, cool looking, cool looking property. Uh, Anthony cleans up his par, no worries. Looks like Connor. Is this Connor's? No, it's not Connor's drive. No, he was the one pitching up first. That's right. Cleans up his par, no problem. Someone was asking about these baskets. I think it's really just the tops to them that are kind of unique. I think they're just what. Maybe DGA Mach 5s? That's what they, they look, look like to me, yeah. With threes? I always get threes and fives mixed up. Yeah. I but it looks see. like it has that straight ring going up in the middle. Yeah. What does it? No, I think that's deceiving me. It's got... Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm so bad with the baskets. Yeah. Uh, three or five, folks. Let me know. Yeah. What is the secret? Yeah, there's got to be something different, right? There is. There yeah. definitely is. And good cleanup from Lance there. Good par save after that drive. I think fives only have one outer ring. Oh, really? I don't know if that's right. I think I'm wrong about that. Mm. Just quit while you're ahead. Someone, someone will tell us. <laughs> yeah, you know. I'll be honest when I'm wrong or when I don't know. <laughs> for sure, for sure.
All right, little little par action right there. I know shame in that. I'm sure you, you see a lot of pars on that one. Um, yep. Nico holding on to seven stroke lead. He's good. And uh, that's going to take us to a hole 11, Ben. What are we doing here? Hole 11. Ah, yes, the par four. Um, this be a very tough eagle. Uh, you can see a fence, li fence line along the right side is OB. Mm -hmm. uh, so most people are going to do kind of how you saw in that picture. Just play a big hyzer out there to about the crest of the hill and then try to make a good layup from there. Okay. Uh, Nico getting a little more aggressive here? A little more aggressive, trying to bite off as much as he can. Just get over that crest and then some. Mm -hmm. um, kind of hard to tell exactly where he landed. Yeah. Uh, Lance, you can see from his shirt, this wind is kicking up. A little bit. A little bit. If we can keep this one in bounds or up the hill. Well, I wouldn't throw anything that could flip over. Yeah. Ooh. Eh, it's a pretty safe play. Yeah. So you got knocked yeah. down by a tree a little bit there? The basket is a bit left. Uh, I don't think he got knocked down too early. Okay. Anthony? This is looking clean. Oh, baby. That looks nice. Very nice shot. And he gets a big skip. Oh, wow. All right. So that should put him about as far left as the basket is, maybe even a little further. Okay. Uh, Connor? I crush one over there. This is looking nice too. Might yeah. even try to play a skip. And wow, slides right up on the path. Beautiful. Yeah. That'll work. Let's see what we got for second shots here. It looks like Maybe Lance did get knocked down by that first tree. I can't tell if it's that one or the one behind it. Oh, yeah. but that also clipped him, and now he's got a tough look at par. Yeah, definitely got that one. Oh. Should be able to hyzer in under these trees. It's a low ceiling. I see the basket down there. Oh, just no skip. Yeah, he's going to have a putt for four, but it's not a close one. Uh, no. We're looking at Connor's second shot. Should be able to get up and down for the birdie. Yeah, taking the patent pending stance. Uh -huh. and well done. Yeah, solid results. Uh, Nico Definitely from... got a better skip than Lance. <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah, a little bit better angle on it, though. Nico? Yeah, That's up. that'll work. And where did Anthony end up? Oh, yeah. He kind of got that big skip down off to the left, and oh, now he he's kind of got a tougher window than, say, Nico, but he's got a good forehand. Ooh, he got knocked down. Yeah, late tree there. Uh, here is Lance going to try and save a par. Tough look. Appears yeah. to be about 40 feet uphill. Oh, good run. Yep, solid effort. Uh, Anthony from just a little bit closer, but not much. Oh, found, a, found another tree. Should be able to save par at least. Oh, yeah. Which he's going to try and do right here. Yep. Well done. What time is it now? And, uh, Connor and Nico doing work. There we go. Here. It's a Mach 5. You can tell by the orange stripe now. Oh, you can? Sorry. I assume that all of them are. Yeah, I guess I just uh, got better eyes than you, Ian. All right. <laughs> Does it say it on there? Oh, in the yeah. orange? Oh, gotcha. On the orange, yeah. And uh, Connor. I think he uh, had gone a long stretch without a birdie. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh, Lance is going to drop in a five. Hopefully, anyway. Hopefully. He's still got a putt to make. Yeah, he does. Putt coming to you in real time. <laughs> <laughs> there. There's that. And uh, Nico should be dropping in a birdie. Well yeah. done, Nico. Played that hole very well. Yep. Kind of a cool hole right there. A couple birds. Yeah. Uh, Nico taking that lead out to nine. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Commanding. He is indeed. Uh, hole 12 going uh, up the gut here, eh? Hole 12. A little controversial. Uh, Yeah. This has um an OB pit right of the basket, and the basket's on a left to right slope, making the upshot very tough. Huh. If you can even get there. To park the hole is a whole other thing altogether. Uh -huh. It looks like the play is to throw something over stable and hope to somehow cut into the hill and park without rolling OB. Interesting. Okay. Is there a forehand line over there to the left, or is that not a play? Uh, I don't think that there's a Mando, but I don't think there's a really clean line there either. Gotcha. Didn't see anyone try it. Word. Uh, Nico still has the box, piping it up the middle, and... 
caught some some shrubbery. Yeah, take what the hole wants you to do. That's yeah. I, <laughs> I think Nico was was also not totally impressed with this layout. <laughs> this of this hole. Of this, I, you know, yeah. I think the main thing is everybody looked at this hole and said, "There's no way I'm ever going to get a birdie." So what I'm going to do is play it safe for three. Yeah, really. How do you get a disc with this basket? It's tough. Yeah. Uh, Connor could conceivably do it, though. He's got the power, that's for sure. Um, yeah, I mean, you can see there is kind of like a straight to Heiser line, but yeah. it's very difficult. Yeah, it looks like Connor was trying to hit it, but turned it over just a little too much. Yeah, and that's actually, that's a really great place to be. Okay. Sure you having a trunk? Anthony? Gonna go forehand here, a little... Oh, yeah, flex. maybe, but I don't think he goes to the left. Yeah, he's doing that flex up the middle. Ooh, and that looked like a good play. It if did. that just kind of stayed above the ground and rode that line he put have been in a good position on the right side where did it go uh i think he's just on the hillside on the okay, right gotcha lance uh almost got it oh no now he's safe there but is he it's okay. a long up shot so where does the ob start uh, once you get over that little hump oh, you can see okay. all the tires and then mm -hmm. there's a path and over the path starts the OB pit. Gotcha. So looking at Anthony's second shot, this does not look easy. See the basket on the left side of the screen now? Yeah, sure. Yeah, so just, you know, maybe 20 feet right of that is the OB pit. Oh, uh, wow. That's kind of that's kinda me. Yeah. <laughs> Here's Lance's second shot. Let's see if he can get this hyzer to stick on this hill. Easier said than done. Yes. Oof. Ooh. So he's safe there, though, correct? He's safe. Okay. Should be able to get a four at least. Let's see if Nico can get up and down for the three. That's looking good. <laughs> Test of the hillside. Yep. Park. Got it to nestle just in time. White uh, Nico. It is. All right, looking at Connor's second shot. Trying to keep up with the Nikos of the world. Well done. Yeah, that'll work. And this is going to be Anthony's third with that CCDG mini. Mm -hmm. Best mini there is. <laughs> of course. Yep. Almost threw it in. Like it. Yeah. I'm looking at Lance for his par. Chance for a highlight. Oh, oh mm. that's all. No. Gonna be a drop in bogey for him. Uh, Anthony right. coming back for his bogey. Lance throws throws the wizard a lot. Oh, cool. That's what he's throwing there. Looks like anyway. Nice. Throw your putters when you can, guys. Yeah. Yep. Connor gonna drop in a par. With that hill though and that OB pit, he's definitely focused on that one. Yeah. Yeah. That ten feet might look a little scary. Yep. Not one you want to miss. And Nico has an absolute drop in to maintain that. Well, actually, his lead might be going up a little bit, huh? Yeah. With two bogeys from uh, Lance and Anthony. Surprised there were even two bars on it. It's a tough hole. Yeah, it really is. And I don't know if anyone truly played it like as safe as they could off the tee. Yeah, they they all got pretty aggressive. Yep. So you can see the paint line of the OB there. Oh, sure, there it is. Yep, there is Nico. The lead is now 10 over everyone. Yeah. That's kind of fun. 3-3-3. Three, three, three. Yeah, three-way tie for second spot. Second place, that is. And uh, that's going to take us to hole 13. Looks like it's a forehand hole, which makes Anthony happy. Yeah, very forehand friendly. Makes me happy, too. <laughs> uh, I suppose there's a low line. There's also kind of a putter line. Oh, okay. Um, just up over the ridge and straight. I think that's what Nico's doing. Oh, yeah. Probably Cenus. That was butter. It did. Didn't, didn't look like it was going to fade too hard to, to skip down the hill. Right. Which definitely is a challenge on that backhand line. Uh, Connor going to go forehand hyzer over the trees. If anybody with a 300-foot forehand hyzer is happy to see this hole. Yeah, definitely. That work out? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Not if you look at his face. <laughs> you don't need to see, see where the disc is. I don't even see the, need to see the rest of the hole. I just <laughs> show me that face. On that was why, why wasn't that a scorecard picture, dude? Why isn't that our gift? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that should have been the score of our picture. Absolutely, you're right. Yeah. A solid forehand right there by Anthony. Looked pretty good. Uh, Lance going to try and keep up with that. 
Uh, Connor, if you need a profile pic, <laughs> <laughs> we got we got you. <laughs> we got you, fam. Yeah, Lance threw that one way up there. Oh, comes down eventually though. Yeah, <laughs> everyone's <laughs> making of good, faces. good camera faces. Oh man, that looks like Connor had to come back at the basket. He's gonna end up taking a par, yeah. and Lance is very <laughs> close. So Anthony and Nico must be very close. Yeah. Dang. Oh, Lance. Ah, those hurt. Yeah. I feel like this is, that's his second one this round. That putt reminded me of Lance Armstrong's career. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's going so well. Yeah, until it didn't. Yeah, and then went downhill. Yeah. Quick. Nico's making that one all day. Good putt. And Anthony? Where, where did he end up? Uh, that's his disc under the basket. Is it really? Oh, oh never mind. <laughs> you lie. I was like, that's not his disc. <laughs> oh, no, that's, that's Lance. That's so. Con Connors. Oh, is it Connors? Okay. Yeah, it's Connors. Oh, Anthony, you're right. Lance already yeah. put it out. Uh -huh. There's Anthony getting a nice birdie, though. Uh, getting a stroke on Connor and Lance, taking sole possession of second place. Yes, indeed. While Nico holds on to that double-digit lead over Anthony now. He's separating quite well. Yeah. yeah. As his, Nico is wont to do. Here's Nico is wont to do. The, his rating is showing. Um, yeah. Yep. Hole 14, par 4, 8, 90. Ooh, this looks fun, Ben. This was, I meant, by another signature hole out here, uh, along with hole 9. Oh, we're going to get a little bonus footage here. This is uh, Josh Sanguinetti, uh, Road Warrior, last year on the NorCal series. Nice. And uh, kind of a people's champ. Love Josh. Always stoked to see him out at the tournaments. Yeah, I've read the name before a bunch. Yeah, him and his brother Joden. Um, actually, a really cool um, story is uh, he donated his kidney to his brother Joden. No way. Wow. This is Brian Cole out of Portland. Actually, I just stayed with him up in Canada. Oh, cool. At an awesome house uh, provided to us by the tournament director, Eric. His his home, he put it up for a bunch of pro disc golfers wow. and a uh, pro video guy for the weekend. What a guy. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Like. Much thanks to Eric. All right, now back to our regularly scheduled disc golf action. Nico LeCastro flexing yeah. a destroyer, it looks like. I would guess. Uh, maybe not his most overstable one. No, that one didn't fade back quite. Did it stay in bounds, though? I do believe he's in bounds. The OB is not as tight on this hole as it is on hole nine. Oh, okay. Um, and also, you don't have to go up and over a ridge at the end. Uh, yeah. what was but that? it is much longer. Yeah, what was that hand signal down there at the end? Did you see that? <laughs> oh, uh... You know, I think it was either an indication if it was in or out, or maybe uh, you're throwing on us. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Hopefully they weren't throwing on them. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Anthony piping one right up the middle. Real nice line. It does look like that's Josh on the green right there, but oh, yeah. shouldn't be in any danger. Nah. Unless something crazy happens. Uh, like Connor throwing a, throwing a bomb. Connor could. He could. Looks like he's going PD2. Could be definitely looks like it has the speed to do that and wow what a crush you know? wow hey, yeah Connor throws far <laughs> <laughs> yep, he, he, he made a better face after that throw <laughs> yeah before and after yeah there you go uh, Lance can see if he can keep up with the Connors of the world taking the hyzer line yeah yeah just a nice like a slight hyzer good yeah. call that's smart throw yeah I assume he wasn't throwing something super overstable, so he shouldn't get a terrible skip. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, we got some uh, spectators. <laughs> that was the gallery out there in the lake? Yep, yep. Nice. Oh, wow. Anthony still has quite a bit of work left to do. Yeah, but what a pretty view. Yeah. This is a big hole, man. It is huge, yeah. yeah. Looks like Anthony's going to be lucky to get a par. Yep. And actually, I was wrong about Lance. He took this huge skip, now that I remember, and he was right on the water's edge. Oh, Inbounds, wow. but oh, okay. not a choice location. Yeah. And I believe he found himself in more trouble right there. What, what, happened? what, ha what happened? Oh, my God. Did he throw I should have put a replay on that one. Did he throw an overhand? Or? I think he just threw a forehand that got batted down by the wind. Wow. I'll have was, to see that one again. Uh, it looks like God just grabbed that disc and just threw it out of the air. No, Lance. <laughs> <laughs> that was so bizarre. 
Ouch, yeah. yeah. That's about the meanest thing I've ever seen to win. Well, wait a second. Hold no. 17 last round. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it looks like Connor is throwing an overhand here. And just a friendly reminder, folks, you really haven't seen anything yet. Stay tuned for next round. I can't wait. Uh, this is going to be... This is going to be Lance. Uh, Lance is third. Yeah. I believe he was in bounds both times. There could be a stroke added there, but okay. I think just that is uh, Anthony throwing three. Mm-hmm. Nice thumber to get up over top and give himself a putt. Now here's Lance, now I think looking for With the wizard. Oh, yeah. good run from a knee. Yeah. We're taking a five, it looks like. Here's Anthony for his four. Probably going to be taking a five as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, nothing doing down there. This hole looked, you know, a little less yep. assuming than uh, hole nine, but it did its damage. Yeah, it really stretches out once you get down to the, the bottom level there. Yeah. And I think then you're looking at, you know, this was flat from the tee, but now it's uphill. Yeah, exactly. And uh, Nico just pitches out on it. I believe that was his third. Uh, yeah. So, so he should be taking the a, a par here. Kind of feeling like a birdie against his card. Yeah, definitely. Are those, is Connor carding a part too? I think Connor might also. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Gets it in there, no worries. Putting with the big horn. <laughs> the big horn. Wow. Folks, go out and uh, support Daredevil Discs. Yeah. There is Anthony dropping in his five. Connor, I believe this is a four. So many uh, manufacturers and discs out here these days. There are, man. <laughs> I mean, Sometimes. I think it's awesome just because it pushes everybody to, to do their best. Mm -hmm. Man, I tried out the Berg last week. Uh, it's a castoplast putter. Oh, yeah? And it's in that same family as, you know, Breaker, Harp, oh, okay. uh, you know, Zone, all those overstable approach discs, but it is unlike anything I've ever seen. Huh. It's got a solid rim on the outside, but there's kind of like a puddle drop. It, like, drops down and then is a little higher in the center than... It's Weird. Little... Huh. Yeah, it's pretty cool, though. Interesting. Ooh, yep. Lance getting in some serious trouble there with that seven, unfortunately. So he did take some OB strokes. Yeah, he definitely did. Um, let's take us from a long hole to a pretty short hole here in hole 15, Ben. Hole 15, I'll have to get a closer look at it here, um, but another up and over a ridge that I opted to use uh, a camera from the fairway. Mm -hmm. And, ah, yeah. It's uh, it's pretty similar to that, the first one of those holes. I think it was one of the first five, somewhere around hole five. Mm -hmm. um, but a little flatter and a little straighter. Okay. Looks like Nico and Connor coming up a little bit short there on their drives. Yeah. Anthony are trying to improve a little bit. The wind like appears to have died down a little. Yeah, it does, huh? Yeah. Anthony but kind of weird how short all these guys are coming. Yeah, this is kind of amazing. Let's see if Lance... No, he's not doing it either. Three... Also, he's rang out early. Maybe there was, like, tailwind going on? I don't know, man. 300 foot hole, you'd think someone would get there. Yeah. Very strange. Uh, Anthony, I think he's going to lay up for his par. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Good run. <laughs> Anthony, nice little little toss right there. Yeah, I don't know if he meant to go for that. Yeah, he's trying to play catch with the basket. It almost worked. Uh -huh. Lance is going to give this a little college try. Yeah. One thing about playing catch with the basket is you can't expect it to throw it back. No, it doesn't move either, which is unfortunate. <laughs> uh, Nico for the bird and a stroke on the card. Making that Ooh. big, big lead bigger. You bring up a good point. I probably would have been a great baseball player if my dad hadn't been six foot three with long arms. Oh yeah, <laughs> didn't have to worry so much about throwing it right on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> There's Nico with that big horn, loving it. That's so funny. Uh, Anthony's gonna come back for the par after almost throwing it in. Present Central Coast, yeah, that? buddy, and a game, and a game. That's right. Yep. Our buddy Bolt, yeah, yeah, makes all the dry fit shirts for Central Coast. Yeah, dude, go get some of those. Yeah, great guy. There's a couple par drop-ins for Lance and Connor. And now it's going to take us to the hole 16. After we clean up, Nico. Oh, my goodness, man. 12-stroke lead now. Yeah. <laughs> He's just on it right now. Yeah. 
Um, I don't think anybody's going to catch him, but we'll find out. Uh, hole 16, part 3, 171. Shorty, but uphill, Ben? Shorty, but uphill, and kind of a tricky line. Also, that fence line on the right side is OB. Okay. Um, definitely plays for forehand. Uh, I don't know if any of these guys will do that, but... You'd think oh. Anthony would, if anybody. Yeah. And, ooh, Nico with the local route. Yeah. Sneaky. Came up a little bit short left, it looked like. Connor lining up. I like it. Yeah. It's like maybe a pig. Yeah, it was. It was had a little bit of flip to it. Yep. yep. Came off that hyzer a little bit. Anthony kind of bust out that forehand. Oh. Yeah, he looks like he's got a faster disc that. It's more my style, but uh, hit a tree. Uh, you know, I think he's right up against the fence line on the right, actually. Oh, okay. It's kind of hard to see. You can see it's really bright up there. Yeah, dark red discs are, are yeah. not easy to film. Uh, Lance throwing it up the hill. Yeah. Give himself a look for two. Mm -hmm. There's that, that sweet mini from Anthony. Oh, yeah, here he is up against the fence. Has a long look for two. Yep. The vibrant putter. Oh, cool. I've heard those sit really well. I haven't seen those in a while, but yes, I will agree. They can yeah. sit really well. They yeah. have lots of different types of uh, rubber. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> there's different types of plastic. Yeah, right? exactly. Um, some of their softer molds are really soft, almost like Blowfly. The hmm. DJ Blowfly soft. Ooh. Ooh, there's a jump butt. There's a highlight from Connor. Well done, bud. Nice bird. Yeah, really good. That's a that's a question though for the fans. Man, I love that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what is the softest uh, putter or disc that you guys have thrown out there? It's gotta be the blowfly, right? For me, it's the blowfly. Yeah, me too. But you know, those Vibram soft putters are pretty close. Yeah. They got that uh, dynamic disc has that that judge too. Have you seen oh, their, okay. their their taco commercials? Have you seen those? Oh, you know what? I think I have. Yeah. Yep. There you go. Uh, Nico missing a putt, very unnico like uh, but he'll take a par, and this is Lance for e two. Loving this backdrop, too. I know, man, the sky looks amazing. I mean, it's not your, you know, what you think of when you think of beauty, but I don't know. It's got a nice quality to it. Yeah, it looks cool. Uh, good but putt from Lance. Impending doom. It is, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you can see Lance really committed on that putt, and it, and it showed. Yeah. A couple of those short ones, he's kind of weak armed him a little bit, but oh, yeah. made sure that one went in. Well done. Uh, Nico, not happy about a par. <laughs> no, I wouldn't be. <laughs> You're going to be okay, Nico. Don't worry, man. <laughs> yeah, he's got pretty safe lead. Yeah. Sometimes it almost seems like he's joking. Is like, I mean, are you really worried? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I think it's just he holds himself to that standard. And... No, he totally does. When you're in those positions where you have that big of an edge on the rest of the field, you know, maybe at that point you just start thinking about, can I play to my average rating? Yeah, yeah, for sure. By his standards, is really high. It is pretty high. Uh, making him a stroke there from Lance and Connor, though. Uh, take us the whole 17, par 3, 381. This looks fun, Ben. It is, but it is it is a 381 foot hole. Oh, go Giants. <laughs> not, not this year, dude. <laughs> so I, I mean, I'm go Giants no matter what. But I know, I know. It's been a rough one. Yeah, it has been a rough one. Yeah. Um, yeah, that forehand line is there, but it's a big one. Yeah, for sure. And you're fading towards the uh, the OB line as well. Yes. And you could just do this. <laughs> what a huge spike! Is it coming back in? Uh, sometime. Nope. I think I saw it there at the end. <laughs> yeah. It was kind of hard. Yep. See. Lance. Oh, Bach. Oh, the hat Oh, fell. yeah, the wind blew the hat off. Wow. Is that, it got his attention. Uh, is that a good or bad omen? Uh, I think it's just, again, tomorrow's impending doom. Yeah, I guess it depends if you're a Dodger fan or a Giant fan. <laughs> I don't know. If you're a Dodger fan, that's a good omen. It was an omen for the 2017 Giants. Yes, it was, wasn't it? <laughs> October, yeah, yeah, this was about the end of the 2016 season. Oh, Lance is going left, Ben. Oh, no, that's not so bad. It's probably good that he hit that tree. Okay, didn't go too deep that way. Kind of all, de yeah. Kind of all depends on uh, where his lie is among the branches. Oh, weird. Uh, probably gonna have a low ceiling. Mm -hmm. Nico, so he flirted with the Firebird, but ended up going with something else. 
Yeah, looking like an overstable spike play. Woo, there pretty good. Yeah, finishes left of the basket, maybe a little short. Yep. yep. Nico not happy. No, I mean, I think the deal is if you're not on that hillside right there, you're probably not going to have a good putt. Yeah. Yeah, he's getting aggressive with the forehand. This, this looks is a beauty right looks here. Looks great, Anthony. Oh, wow, man, long. He's got a great forehand. Yeah, I remember Nico being impressed with that. Nice. Now there is Connor pitching up. Did that Big shot. shot. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Lance gonna pitch out as well, or throw it in. Nope. Yep. And Nico is probably close to balance. Rob Ryan. Rob, Rob Ryan, yeah. who I believe ended up winning Masters at this tournament. Oh, oh shout to Chris. <laughs> shout to took second. But shout. First, first place in good looks. He, he was voguing there pretty hard. <laughs> Love Shasta, man. He's great. Oh, Nico. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Didn't think he would even get close on that one. Anthony, after a great drive, is left with just no look. Oh, uh, the man's the need is just... Yep. Owning the green there, punny. you got to really finish on the right side of this tree here. Oh well, short. Anything short is safe. Yeah, it's all deep. Mm -hmm. I guess it gives you a backstop for your putt if you come short. True. Yeah. But if Which most people are. It's pretty hard to go long with this hole. Yeah. yeah. Anthony problems going on right here. Yeah. <laughs> and he drops in for par. Nico will come right behind him and do the same. Looks like a little little par action right there. It's a really tough hole. Good. No bogeys is good on that one with that, that tricky OB. Yeah. Uh, Nico's lead is 11. That's a lot. That's going to take us to the last hole of round two. Uh, where are we going, Ben? Uh, so right of the kind of rock bed creek on the right side and behind the basket as well. Mm -hmm. The low ceiling, you'll see Connor kind of look at it. It's like it's unfair for his height. <laughs> <laughs> he is tall. Nico, on the other hand, is pretty decent. Mm -hmm. Decent height. Lines up um, for him nicely. Yeah. <laughs> Nico with the pro tip here. You got to get fed up before you get on the course. What, what did he say? <laughs> he said you got to get fed up before you get on the course. <laughs> Ch <laughs> channel that into some good disc golf. Is that the game? Yep. I mean, I think that for a lot of us might be unveiling a secret of Nico. Yeah. Kind of like, what's up with this guy? Well, he's got to get fed up before he gets on the course. Yeah, he like, likes to play angry. Yep. Connor throwing a disc in this whipping wind. Nico's back. Nico, get out of the way. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> respect the camera. Oh, I think he just yeah, yeah. wasn't respecting. Just didn't. Oh, I'm sure he forgot. Yeah, <laughs> flipped his mind. Yeah, that happens all the time. He was thinking he was gonna go in. I yeah. mean, Connor put a great line on that. Oh, definitely. Uh, Lance gonna try and follow that line. Easier said than done with Connor's power. Yeah, I mean, it's a long, low 405 feet if you're actually trying to get there without throwing flags. Mm -hmm. Lance playing the skip shot there. Stays on line. Should be a pretty easy par. And you'll see how he says, okay, there's the win. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll see when you get down to the green, it's also um, it's past the flat area. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a very perilous green. Um, it's tough to get right up on it. Mm. Nico going to try and get right up on it, though. Oh, yeah. Always. Always. I've never seen Nico really back down from a hole. No. So he's throwing the flex. Oh, a little oh, high. Oh, there we go. Got a little maybe nose up. And yeah. Off to the left there. Yeah, easy par, though. Yep. And Anthony going back to that trusty forehand. Now, I think there is some, like, OB deep, but I think Nico's... Short of that. Okay. Uh, that's right. Anthony with a pretty low throw, it looked like. Oh, but... It, yeah, but it's money. It is, isn't it? Oh, man. I had a chance until it just shot right up off that yeah. rock. Yeah. <laughs> Not the best skip, but still pretty close. Oh, yep. so good. <laughs> uh, oh, man. He knew it. Yep. That would have been a beautiful ace. That would have been really great. Uh, Lance, probably just going to be laying up for his par. The drop off past the basket, pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. God Ooh. damn it! Oh no, he knew it was an easier shot than he made it. Yeah. So that's Nico's hair. Just Nico, yeah. <laughs> wow. Huh. Not the first time we've seen Nico come out of the bushes. And... No. <laughs> so here is Lance. Oh man, he left himself a pretty difficult par, but I'd say a midterm. It is, yeah, definitely. 
Oh. Oh, no. Gonna have to, gonna yeah, have to re think... retake that test, Ben. Yeah, we're going to have to see where that ends up, too. Yeah. I mean, at least it looked like it was landing flat, not on an edge. Oh, Anthony oh, gave that a bed oh, for the birdie. Oh, that last kick off the rock, it's hard to say. Is there OB down there? I mean, I think way down there. I don't know if it's really in play, but mostly just, you know, a tougher-looking putt. How about that drive from Connor, though? Wow, that was his drive? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, Perfect. He, he peered that line. And Anthony's, oh, he sat pretty well, comes back for his par, no worries. Uh, Lance and Lance as well. Yeah, he'll be dropping in a bogey. And then Nico will have a par. Okay. Yeah, Lance with that errant upshot. Coming back to bite him here a little bit. And there's Nico with the drop in. And he's going to have a pretty healthy lead going into the, the final round, Ben. Yeah. Nico, uh, you know, he could have easily slacked off of this tournament scene that <laughs> You know, in the end, after a few players had dropped out, he was the highest rated by a pretty good margin. There's a video bomb by David Moulton, Michael's brother. <laughs> oh, nice. And uh, he could have slacked off a little more. So don't try any of the stupid stuff we do at home, nor should you repeat any of the words said in this video. <laughs> so these great... <laughs> these guys were riffing off of... Uh, there were a few right, F-bombs got cut oh. throughout the round. <laughs> and we had this idea to replace it with yippies. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Instead, I just used his B-roll. Nice, nice. <laughs> Jeff Yunker in there. Yeah, I love, love Yunk, man. He's awesome. Yep. Uh, Taking there, peanut butter sandwiches. Uh-huh. Honey and peanut butter all day. Uh, Nico with 10 strokes over Connor. Uh, anybody makes moves on the chase card here? Uh, I have to re-examine it. I believe we're going to see Sias Elmore jump in and hop Lance, but we're also seeing Connor and Anthony back. Okay. Uh, yeah, Nico continues to dominate. Um, but, you know, these other guys, we'll give it the old college try, and hopefully we'll see. Uh, well, I will promise you guys, spoiler alert, for the millionth time, this weather is like something you've never seen before. You're going to want to tune in just for the weather. I'm, and play will be a bonus. I'm taking a peek right now. It looks pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fun to watch, not fun to play in. Right. <laughs> all right, guys. So that's all we got for round two, guys. Everybody, thanks for watching. Make sure you come back for round three. It's it's interesting. Um, and we'll, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.